Hi, Sassy. Good evening. Hello, Sassy. Good evening. Good night, teacher. How are you? Hey, hi. Pretty good. What about you? Fine, thank you. That's good. Is it raining? Yes. In your house? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, uh, in my house, it's not raining yet, but I can listen to the, the thunders. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, here it's raining. It's raining. Oh, my God. It's, is it raining heavily? Yes. Oh, God. But it's delicious, right? Yes. I think it's... Uh, uh, in the day it's very uh, hot was, yes uh, it's true it was very very hot no. i i i wanted i wanted the uh, the rain in the afternoon yes because it was extremely hot you're right like if we yeah. were in la and, costa right and the house when it's it, it's good it's mm -hmm. relaxed Yes, it's very relaxing, you know, very nice. Okay, with a cup of coffee, <laughs> that would be good, yes. right? <laughs> what, do, what do you prefer, hot days or rainy days? Rainy days. Rainy days, yes. When, I, yes when I'm in a, in a house. In your house, uh -huh, exactly. Or maybe in an office, right? Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but, but at, at the moment, yeah. at the moment you go out from the office or the house is much better, okay, yeah, you know, without rain, uh-huh, that's nice, very good, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have Omar, hello Omar. Good evening, Omar, Xiomara, okay, welcome, okay, very nice, Xiomara is connecting the the audio, okay, very nice. Hello, Omar and Xiomara. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you for joining us. Hello, okay. Good How evening. are you? How are you? Good? Relaxed? Stressed? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good. That's good. Nice. Very good. Is it raining? Where Everything is okay. Okay, good. Is it raining where you live? Yes, of course, very oh. much. Oh, very much. Okay, that's it. So the, I listen to the thunders, but right now in my house it's not raining yet. <laughs> I hope later, right? You know, at uh, at one a.m. is very nice to listen to the rain. It's very relaxing, like Cecilia said, right? Very nice. We have Xiomara, Karina. Okay, welcome. Okay, welcome everybody to the class, guys. We are going to start, okay, by practicing, okay, a little bit of uh, yesterday's topic. Okay, we are going to start with um, some practice because today we are going to study uh, not only comparatives, but we are going to start superlatives. Okay, this is what we have, and I'm going to ask for your participation. Okay, for this topic, um, this is uh, yesterday's topic, right? This is a, a review, okay? This is the review. Okay, comparative adjectives. We use the comparative to compare two people, places, or things, right? For example, yesterday we mentioned small, smaller, okay? That's it. So, uh, this is the, the example. And this is the explanation, guys, that I gave you yesterday. This is the summary. Uh, I will ask uh, Ceci, okay, to read this uh, first box, please, with the, okay. um, with the rules that I explained yesterday. How do we build? Okay, so can you please read? Only this? read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read. Share adjectives plus I ER. ER. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. ER. For example? Oh. Uh, for example, all, older, Excellent. young, younger, mm -hmm. C, B, C, plus this is ER, uh -huh, the final, very good. final, the final, final, the final consonant is double. For example, for example, big, big bigger, hot, hotter, mm -hmm. uh, and another is short, adjective, and, and, in, uh, ah. why? Why? Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, I E R. Okay, e that's it. For example, for example, easy, easier, easier, heavy, heavy, heavy. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. This is a CVC. You would say, like, what is that? Consonant, vowel, consonant. When you have vowel, consonant, vowel, uh, okay, uh, consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the final letter I said yesterday. And when the adjective finishes in Y, what you have to do is to drop the Y and add I and then ER to make the comparatives, okay? That's it. This is for short adjectives. What about for long adjectives, okay? This is for long adjectives. Uh, Xiomara, can you please read this uh, box, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Long adjective, mm -hmm. more, more long, mm -hmm. more plus long adjective. Long, long For adjective. example, mm -hmm. exciting, more exciting. Very good. Beautiful, more beautiful. Mm -hmm. For irregular adjective, mm -hmm. for example, good is better. Mm -hmm. Bad is worse. Excellent. And now okay. this one, please. We use? We use them after the comparative form of the adjective. For mm -hmm. example, John is a taller than Mary. Okay. And a Ferrari is more expensive than Fiat. A Fiat. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Okay, so you see, this is the, the, these are the rules for the long adjectives, right? You are more plus the long adjectives. And we have here good and bad that I told you yesterday, they are irregular adjectives. Yo les di uno más que es far, is farther, okay? Good, better, bad, worse. And then you have to use this word, right? Then after the comparative form of the adjective, okay? This is a little summary of what we studied yesterday, okay? And now I have a picture. It says, uh, this person says, I am 70, okay? And the other person says, I am 75. So this person is old, but this other is older, okay? Young, younger, because they are short adjectives. For example, the woman is old. The man is older than the woman. The woman is old, but um, she is younger than the man. Okay, so here I'm using older, younger, both ending with ER because they are short adjectives. Okay, then we have other one. Okay, we have a polar bear here is big, but we have an elephant as well. And the elephant is bigger okay um let's see karina hello karina can you hear me can you please read the sentences karina for the examples okay. mm -hmm. the polar bear is big mm -hmm. the elephant is bigger than the polar bear uh -huh. But it is smaller than the elephant. Than the elephant, okay, very good. The polar bear is big, but it is smaller than the elephant, okay, very good. So here we use small, okay, and big, smaller and bigger. So you see, we are comparing two animals, okay. Then we have uh, um, ice cream, okay, here and yogurt. Testy and testier. This is the comparative. So it says yogurt is testy, but ice cream is testier than yogurt. Okay? So aquí tenemos la Y. ¿Qué pasa con la Y? La quito y le pongo I latina agregado con ER. Okay? So these are the examples. And now we are going to do this practice. Okay? I have here um, a picture, okay? Uh, this is Tiny and I have a Sky, the name of this boy and the other one, okay? They are playing basketball right now. So what we're gonna do is to complete 
the following sentences using the comparative form of the adjectives in brackets, okay? For example, the number one, it says tiny is than sky. So I will ask for one person, okay, to give me the answer for this one. Uh, let me let me start. Hugo, hello, Hugo. Hello, hello. Okay, can you please do the exercise uh, sentence one and sentence two, Hugo, please. Okay. Uh, Tini is taller than sky. Mm -hmm. Number two, sky. Sky, sky is better mm -hmm. at basketball than Tini. Okay, very good. Okay, the first one is uh, taller. Uh -huh. And the second one is sky is better. better. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue, okay, with uh, more uh, participants here. Uh, Joanna, hello. Good evening. Joanna, give me the answer for number three, please. Um, Dini is faster than sky. Sky, okay. Let's see. Faster. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, Xiomara. Give me the number four, please. Sky is more popular than Tini. Okay, very good. Let's see, more popular because this is a long adjective. Okay, and the number five, uh, Omar. Is Omar here? No, no, right? No, he left. Okay, maybe he got problems with his connectivity. Okay, number five, uh, Hugo, once again. Sky feet. Uh, is, is sky feet are bigger than Tini's feet. Okay, let's see. Bigger, excellent. Okay, very, very, very good. Okay, that's it. Now, my friends, this is what we are going to do uh, today. Okay, we are going to practice the superlatives. Okay, the superlative is like this: big, bigger. Hasta aquí hemos visto ahorita bigger. Adjetivo normal, comparativo, y hoy vamos a ver este, the biggest, ¿ok? Do you remember a hamburger? Uh, long time ago in El Salvador we had a hamburger, biggest, ¿ok? La más grande, aquí ya no es más que, no, this is el más, la más, ¿ok? This is the translation for e est, ¿ok? And I am going to present, guys, a video I want you to pay attention to this video right now because this is the summary of what I'm going to explain right now. Okay, pay attention please and watch the video. This is the second video about the degrees of comparison in English, this time superlative adjectives. Jack is not very tall. Kate is taller than Jack. Mike is a bit taller than Kate, so Mike is the tallest. Tall, taller, the tallest. Small, smaller, the smallest. You already know about the comparative form of adjectives. Adjectives in the superlative form express the highest degree of certain quality. We make the superlative form of one-syllable adjectives by adding the suffix est and the definite article the before the adjective, the shortest. If the adjective has a short vowel, we must double the consonant, add the suffix est and the definite article the, the biggest. So let's look at the comparative and superlative forms together. Smaller, the smallest. Taller, the tallest. Older, the oldest. Hotter, the hottest. For example, Mike is the tallest guy in the office. Today is the hottest day of the year. Mike is the most sociable person in the office. Jack is the most helpful. We make the superlative form of two and more syllable adjectives by adding the word the most before the adjective. For example, the most sociable. And again, let's read comparatives and superlatives together. More sociable, the most sociable. More interesting, 
the most interesting. More boring, the most boring. The opposite of the most is the least. The least sociable, the least interesting, the least boring. El menos. More examples. John is the most sociable boy in the class. This is the most interesting book I have. Like comparatives, superlatives also have some special rules. Two and more syllable adjectives ending in Y usually make their superlative forms by replacing Y with I and the suffix EST, for example, the easiest. More comparative and superlative forms like this. Easier, the easiest. Lazier, the laziest. Happier, the happiest. Funnier, the funniest. But there is another way. Two and more syllable adjectives ending in Y can also make their superlative form with the help of the most before the adjective. For example, the most easy. More easy, the most easy. More lazy, the most lazy. More happy, the most happy. More funny, the most funny. Jack is the best speaker at the conference. So let's look at the irregular adjectives again. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Far, further, the furthest. Or far, farther, the farthest. The furthest door led to a kitchen. Today is the worst day ever. Jack is my best friend. Mike is the tallest of all his colleagues. Jack is the most experienced of all. There are some more or less fixed structures with superlatives. For example, a superlative plus the preposition of when we talk about a representative of some group. For example, Mike is the tallest of all his colleagues. Jack is the most experienced of all. Kate is by far the most organized person in the company. To make a superlative adjective stronger, we use the intensifier by far before the superlative. Kate is by far the most organized person in the company. Jack is by far the best project manager. One more structure is one of plus superlative, when we talk about a representative of a group. She is one of the best singers in the world. And finally, the structure an ordinal number plus a superlative adjective. You remember ordinal numbers, the first, the second, the third. It is the second largest city in the world. Okay, that's it. Well, this was uh, uh, the video, okay, for explaining, okay, um, this topic of superlatives. But I'm going to do it, okay, my way here using your participation to practice, okay, with me. So, as, as I said yesterday, the comparative uh, form of superlatives, it has to be, uh, you know, it has to do with a... Uh, Two different adjectives if they are short adjectives or long adjectives okay here guys what we have to use is the word the okay this is something that you don't have to forget in superlatives okay ayer no decíamos es eh, la más bonita que no okay más bonita que here in superlatives we have to use el más grande la más eh, bonita, el más inteligente, for example, in this case. So we have to use the, okay? For short adjectives, you have to use the plus the short adjective, okay? And then you have to add E-S-T, no E-R, E-S-T, okay? So in this case... What you can do, for example, is to mention 
I'm not comparing here. I'm just mentioning that one person or one thing, one animal has one characteristic, okay? Um, for example, I can say the lion, okay, is the angriest, right? Ang angriest animal in the forest, for example, in this case. I'm not comparing the lion with bears, with giraffes, etc. I'm just mentioning one characteristic of this animal, okay? So I'm saying that the lion is the angriest. So I'm saying el león is el más enojado, okay? El, el animal más enojado en el bosque, okay? That's it. For example, here, uh, then I can say another other example. For example, if you say, my mom is the prettiest, look, the prettiest woman, okay, in the world, okay, that's it. You, you see, I'm using the and because the adjective is short, I'm using the est. Originalmente pretty termina en ye, por eso le quité la ye por una y latina, ¿ok? That's it. Con esta tenemos tres, uh, otra vez, los, los uh, irregulars, ¿ok? Good, ayer decíamos que era um, better, but now guys, we are going to have, for good, is going to be the best, ¿ok? The best. For um, bad, we have to use in this case, okay, okay, the worst, okay, that's it. And for far, I said this yesterday, this one, okay, we have the farthest. En el video lo vieron que se puede escribir con A o también con U, okay, so there is no problem. Hay veces hay cambios en gramática porque Tiene que ver con inglés británico, inglés americano, ¿ok? So, eh, this is the, the rule, ¿ok? For the short adjectives. And now, what about the long adjectives? Well, with long adjectives, usamos lo mismo de da. But we have to say here, ya no voy a decir the more, no, the most, ¿ok? La más, el más, ¿ok? Plus the long adjective. Okay, that's it. So, for example, here I say interesting. Okay, for example, eh, Karina. Karina, can you hear me? No, Hugo, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Hugo, for you, Hugo, your personal opinion. Who is the most interesting woman in the world? Who is the most interesting woman in the world for you, Hugo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a name of a person that you consider is the most interesting. Uh, the most interesting. Uh -huh. The most, okay. Uh -huh. The most interesting uh, woman in the world is Maria Isabel Rodriguez. Ah, okay. Very good. For example. Very good. Uh, the ex uh, decan of El Salvo, uh, the university, right? Yes. Maria yes. Isabel, uh -huh. very good. Rodriguez, okay, is, look, the most, ¿por qué? Porque estoy usando un adjetivo largo, the most yes. uh -huh. interesting, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> interesting woman, okay, in El Salvador, for example, okay, that's it. So you see, in here, you don't have to say dan, aquí no me usa dan porque no está comparando a nadie, ok, María Isabel con eh, Julia Roberts, por ejemplo, no, 
I'm just, you are just mentioning, okay? Maria Isabel Rodriguez is the most mm -hmm. interesting woman in El Salvador. Okay, very good. What about, um, let me see, thank you, Hugo. Okay, what about in this case, if I, if I ask, for example, Joanna, for you. Joanna, this is your personal opinion, okay? Who is the most handsome man in the world for you? Uh, who is handsome man, teacher? Handsome. Who is mm. the most handsome man in the world? Handsome is guapo, lindo, hermoso. Oh, who uh, is the most handsome man in the world for you? This is your personal opinion, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> um, Johnny Depp. Ah, okay, very good. That's it, Johnny Depp. Creo que así se escribe, I don't know. Okay, eh, like this, I think. Or Deep, no, Depp, I don't know. Well, double E. No. No, right? Like this, double P. No. Well, you know the person, right? Okay. Is uh, the most, look, I use the, okay, most handsome, okay, man in the world. Okay, that's it. Okay, so look, you are using interesting, handsome, and that's why I'm using the superlative form, the most, the most, okay? Pero cuando es pequeño, ya no me le pongan most. Me le va a poner solo the, and you have to add est, okay? That's it, est. Questions right now? Questions with this rule? No. No, that's okay? Okay, well. I, I, I'll show you um, more, um, uh, more examples, okay? Uh, let me share, okay, with you this part. That's it. Well, this is the, 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 the rule, okay, for this. Let me see here. Okay, so I have some examples here. For example, it says, Big Ben is old. The tower is older than Big Ben. You see, aquí estoy comparando Big Ben and the tower. And the other ones are, the pyramids are older than the tower. I'm comparing the tower with the pyramids, okay? Pero en la última yo no comparo, solamente digo, the pyramids are the oldest, okay? So you see, in the... In the number one, you are not comparing. You are just mentioning one characteristic. In the number two and the number three, you are comparing. You have two, okay, look, two. But in the, in the last one, the number three, you're not comparing, okay? So that's why it makes a superlative, right? Las pirámides son las más viejas, las más antiguas, okay? Now let's see. Let's see if you remember the rules and we are going to start with this one. We start with Karina, okay? Karina, please look at the picture, Kari. We have all, we have Joe, and we have Ed. Complete the following sentences. Use the superlative form, please, Kari. Number one. Um, all. Mm -hmm. uh, shortest. Okay, can you please repeat, Kari? Al mm -hmm. is the shortest. Aha, uh -huh, is the shortest, okay? That's it, very good, excellent. Xiomara, continue, number two. Ed mm -hmm. is thinniest than oh, Al. Superlative, Xiomi. I don't know. Superlativo. No lo que acabamos de ver ahorita. Usted no está comparando a Ed. Solo está diciendo que Ed es el más delgado. Como uh, Ed es... Is, is oh, ¿Qué te estás comiendo? Esa palabra, mira. Ah, uh, the thinniest. Exactly. Ed is the thinniest. 
Excellent. Uh -huh. Y Ed is the thinnest, right? So remember, Xiaomi, cuando ponga un superlativo, siempre va a ir el da, okay? Okay. So please, don't forget it. Very good. Okay, we continue, Ceci. Please, number three, Ceci. Um, oh, uh -huh. he is wearing most colorful uh -huh. clothes. Okay, can you please repeat? All is wearing the most colorful clothes. Okay, excellent. The most colorful clothes. Okay, very good. That's it. Hugo, number four, Hugo. Okay. Ed is the tallest. Excellent, excellent. And Joanna, number uh, five. Mm -hmm. Joe is smartest. The smartest. Ajá, ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿cómo va, Hugo? ¿Qué you repeat? Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Joe is the most smart. Really? Smart is short. Ese es, es, es pequeño. Is the smartest. Ajá, that's it. Is, así como lo había dicho al principio, Hugo. Joe okay. is. Okay. Joe is the smartest. Excellent, excellent, very good. Joe is the smartest, okay? Very, very good, okay. Now, my friends, this is, um, this is a, 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 um, like a challenge for you, okay? This is the practice that we're gonna have. I'm gonna send to you this picture right now in the WhatsApp group, okay? And this is what we are gonna do. What are we gonna do? Now, my friends, I want you to use comparatives or superlatives. Aquí usted tiene que distinguir si está comparando o solo está diciendo algo en forma superlativa, okay? I'm going to send you the, the picture so you can do the, the practice, okay, in your eh, notebooks if you have a notebook, okay, over there. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send the, the picture. Okay, I think it's already there. Look at the picture. Let's start working with your partners. Okay. That's it. Accept the invitation and let's start working right now. We can start. Yes. Uh, Number one. Uh, my house is big, bigger. It's bigger. Uh -huh. Big, bigger than yours. Uh -huh. Number two. This flower is. The most beautiful, the, no, that the one. Yes, es como yes, la primera, yes. algo así. It's the more, it's the more. Porque most es para el superlative, pero aquí como está comparando, creo que es more. The flower is more beautiful. Pero el that one, que es? Done? That is one? That no, o that sea, one. Esta flor that one. es más uh -huh. bonita que esa. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so in this case it's comparing. Porque lleva la uh -huh. dan también, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number three. Entonces sí huh? es more beautiful. Though. Yes, it's more beautiful. Uh -huh, more beautiful. Uh -huh. Nice, very good. Okay. Mokas usually live longer. Okay. That's what I'm Which is the the most dangerous area? Animal in the world. Mm -hmm. See, the most. 
Exactly. Como no está comparando no, nada. Estamos... Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. El otro es... Uh, holiday Tip. This is more beautiful. Eh, bueno, sería better. Yes. Uh, holiday Creo que está usando el done, entonces sería better. A holiday by the sea is better than a holiday in the mountains. Very good. Uh -huh. La siguiente. Sería, which is the dangerous animal in the world? Que sería superlativo. Ese sería... Um, ¿cuál es the most dangerous. Most. The most. La siguiente. A holiday by the sea is better. Be better than a holiday in the mountain. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Vaya, la siguiente. It is a train, but often a cook is more expensive. And a beer. Well, comparative. More, mm -hmm. more expensive. More expensive. Mm -hmm. well, who, la siguiente es, who is the richer? Comparative Rich. superlative. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The richest. Richer, así es. No, superlative, Ceci. Richest, richest. Ajá. Richest, mm -hmm. excelente. Sooner is comparative. Mm -hmm. uh, divorce. Finish girls? No. Who is the rich? Who is the uh -huh. comparative or superlative for rich? Yeah. Yes. Superlative. Superlative. Uh -huh. Very good. Una clave que pueden tener acá es que no lleva la palabra dan, ¿ok? Uh -huh. si no ven la palabra dan es porque es superlative, right? This could be one tip in this exercise. Who is the richest? Uh -huh. The very this summer is even even worse. Uh, how worse? Oh? Yes, worse. The weather this summer is.
post ten post so he was a uh, more intelligent mm -hmm. no porque no estamos comparando sería the most intelligent the most mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to check the answers. Okay, finish, right? Finish. Okay, very nice. We're going to come back to the main session and we're going to check the answers together. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, now that uh, we have the answers, you're gonna help me to, to answer this, okay? So here you have to use, okay, whether you can use comparative or superlative forms, okay? Let's start with uh, number one, Xiomara, we start with you. Number one, please. My house is bigger than yours. Bigger, okay. Bigger than uh -huh. yours. Very good, bigger than yours. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, number two, Joanna, thank you. This flower is more beautiful than that one. Than that one. Okay, very good. Number one, bigger than yours. Number two, more beautiful than. Excellent. Cecilia, number three. This is the best, the best uh, book. I have ever read. I have ever read. Okay, very good. This is the best. Excellent, because in this case, you're not comparing the books, okay? You're just mentioning one characteristic. Continue, Hugo, please. Non-smokers. Okay. Non-smokers usually live longer than smokers. Okay, uh, live, live, Hugo. Live, live. Live longer than smokers. Excellent, okay, very good. Let's continue once again, please, Xiaomi. Which mm. is? Which is the most dangerous animal in the world? Excellent, very good. Joanna, continue. A holiday? A holiday by the sea is better than a holiday in the mountain. Excellent, okay, very good. A holiday by the sea. C is better than, excellent, continue Ceci. It is strange. It is strange, but often a cook is, mo is, a, is more expensive than a beer. Than a beer, very good, okay. It's more expensive than a beer, very good. Hugo, continue, please. Okay. Uh, who is the richest, the richest woman on the earth? Perfect. Very good. Who is the richest woman on earth? Okay, very good. Xiaomi, once again, the last one. No, no, no. Uh, the weather. Ah, uh, the, the weather this summer is even worse than last summer. Excellent. Even worse. Very good. And Joanna, the last one, please. He was? He was the most intelligent Thief of all. Of all. Very good. Él era el, el ladrón más inteligente de todo this, okay? The most intelligent, okay? Very, very, very good, okay? Now, I'm going to give you in this case, okay, this part for showing, um, in this case, use the words given to compare the following pictures, okay? You are going to do it orally, okay? Right now we're gonna use comparatives, right? Fries or French fries versus chocolate. So you can use healthy, expensive, sweet, tasty, or delicious, okay? So we have fruit, chocolate, or a fries. Let's start, okay? Ceci, let's start with you. Give me one okay. sentence. Um, the fruit, it's uh, more healthy mm -hmm. that, than fr fries. 
Dan fries, ok, very good. Ahorita estamos solo comparando, ok. The fruit is more healthy than fries, very good. Hugo, continue with other example, please. Use your imagination. A chocolate mm -hmm. is more expensive than fruit. Fries. Fries. Excellent, fries. very good, excellent, very good. Ok, Xiomara, give me other example, please. Um, Fruit is sweeter than pot fried potatoes. Okay, very good. The fruit is uh, sweeter. Uh -huh. Chocolate mm -hmm. is sweet sweetest, however. Okay, that's it. Very good. In this case, it's the sweetest, right? Sweetest. That's it. Uh -huh. El más dulce. Okay, very good. That's it. What about with this one? We have a bike. We have a jeep. And we have an electric car. Cheap, slow, small, eco-friendly, and comfortable. Joanna, please give me one comparative sentence. Um, the, the bike mm -hmm. is... Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, the the jeep is mm -hmm. more comfortable than bike. The bike, okay, very good, excellent. Uh, Hugo, give me other example of a comparative sentence, please. Uh, the bike is more eco friendly mm -hmm. than jeep. The jeep, excellent, very good, okay. Show me, give me a superlative sentence. Um, the, the jeep is the most comfortable car. Mm -hmm. Car, okay, very good, very good. The jeep is the most comfortable car. En este caso de los comparativos, si les puede ayudar en algo esto, si usted está hablando de una jirafa, por ejemplo, entonces dice, the giraffe is the tallest, y tiene que decir la característica, eh, perdón, el grupo al que pertenece la jirafa. La jirafa es un animal, entonces va a decir, the giraffe is the tallest animal in the jungle. En este, car, en este caso, perdón, estamos hablando de medio de transporte o... Entonces dice, the jeep is the most comfortable eh, means of transportation or car, right? In this case, si está hablando de una persona, pues diga, Marilyn Monroe is the most beautiful or was the most beautiful woman, woman. Ese es la, el grupo de ella, right? Marilyn Monroe, woman, eh, Pedro, a man or person, okay, a dog, animal, uh, Ita Italy, for example, country, etc. This is for you not to get confused, okay? Very good, that's it. So, here we use here, when do we use comparative and superlative adjectives? How do we form comparative and superlative adjectives? Okay, in this case, what we have is this, when do we use comparative and superlative adjectives? Comparatives, when we want to compare two things, two people, two objects, two animals, etc. And superlatives is we want to compare but more than two. That could be three, four, etc. Pero muchas veces pues no es tampoco para comparar sino para decir una característica sobresaliente de algo, ok? How do we form the comparative and superlative adjectives? Well, los comparativos se le va a poner la palabra more Si es un adjetivo largo y si es un adjetivo corto, pues va con el ER y la palabra THAN, ¿ok? And superlatives, you have to use the most for long adjectives, ¿ok? If it is the adjective is short, you have to use THE, el adjetivo corto, y me le agrega EST, ¿ok? Example, the prettiest, the easiest, Okay, the slowest, etc. Okay, it says here, describe your favorite actor using comparative adjectives. Okay, for example, Ceci, in your case, Ceci, eh, who is your favorite actor? Maybe 
I don't know. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, the guy from uh, Twilight, right? Yes. Ah, okay. So you you are gonna do okay. Uh, you are gonna write or you are gonna think about the sentences using comparative and uh, additives about your favorite actor. So you can say, uh, for me, um, the vampire <laughs> is more dangerous than a, a, let me see, give me other name, and Kevin uh, Costner, for example, who is younger than. The idea is that you guys have to use one, okay, um, you have to choose one person, okay, one actor, one actress, and I want you to make three comparative sentences and three superlative sentences about that person, okay? Uh, you're going to work in pairs. This is for the last minutes we have. Uh, choose one person in common. I understand that maybe you have different people, okay, in mind, but choose one in common and write three sentences, okay, in superlative and three using comparatives, okay? I will open the, the, the rooms again, okay? Please join the uh, room so you can start practicing with your partners. Three comparative, three superlative. Um, por ejemplo, eh, puede ser actriz también. Sí, sí, sí. Uh, no sé. O una de Hollywood. Ah, y este Chris Evans, no. El de Capitán ¿Perdón? América. Chris Evans, el de Ajá, Capitán también. América. Va. Vale. Eh. Ajá, son tres superlativas, tres comparativas. Ajá. Comenzamos con las comparativas. O... ¿Sí o? Sí, ajá, vaya. Chris Evans is the most, no, the most, is more handsome <laughs> than, uh -huh. than, than, thank you, than, Dan uh, Robert. Other, other actors. Es el, el de Iron Man. Robert. Downey. Downey, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Vaya. Sí, creo Otra. que es. Uh -huh. Vaya. Chris Evans. Otro. Chris Evans. Is. Is stronger. Uh -huh. Stronger sería, o más strong, stronger. 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 Dan Kevin James, puede ser. Bye. <laughs> And Chris Evans is the best superhero. Ah, no, the best, no, it's better. No, ¿cómo sería? Sí, sí. No, Porque the better. best ya es superlativo. Pero sería para is, Chris, uh, Chris Evan Evans is, is better, is better. Than. Mm. No sé quién más. Than. Um, Adam Sandler. Vaya, ajá. Vaya. Harry is more crazy. Pero crazy no es, no es este loco. <laughs> ¿Cómo? More, more crazy. Uh -huh. oh. You can say more crazy or crazier. The most crazier. common is the most common is crazier. Okay. Uh -huh. Crazier than. 
Ah, ¿Cómo se llama? Este que, que no habla, es solo con señas. Ay, ah, Mr. Mr. Bean. Bean. Mr. Mr. Bean. Bean, ajá. Ok. Mr. Bean. Vaya, tenemos los comparativos. Lo superlativo, pero. Uh -huh. eh, is the most famous actor? On, on Hollywood o sería in Hollywood? In Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yes, actor of Hollywood. Creo que ya hemos colocado una con best. Chris mm. Evans is the best superhero in the world. Ah, sí, es Ah, pues. Podría ser Chris Evans is the most interesting actor uh -huh. in the world. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. Okay. So, we finish. You finish? Okay. Can I, yes. listen, can I listen to your sentences, please? What? Can I listen to your sentences? Ceci, you okay. give me the comparatives and Hugo, you give me the superlative, please. Okay. okay. Chris Evan is stronger Then Kevin James, Chris Evans is more handsome than Robert Downey, and Chris Evans is the be is better no he is better than Adam Sandler. Okay, very good, excellent, Hugo. Okay, Chris Evans is the best superhero in the world. Uh -huh. Chris Evans is the most intelligent actor in the cinema. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Chris Evans is the more interesting actor in the world. Can you repeat the last one? Perdón, perdón. Chris Evans is the most ah. interesting actor in the world. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, then we have a, a superlatives, right? Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now okay. we're going to come back to the main session. We're going to listen to the other group, okay? And we wrap up the uh, class, okay? Okay. Thank you. Very okay. good job. Well, I don't know what happened to the other girls. <laughs> maybe they left. <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe they left. Okay, because I don't know if they are okay joining us. We are about to finish, okay? Well, the idea was, oh, Xiaomi is here and Joanna. Okay, very good. Xiaomi and Joanna, can you please share your, your sentences? Uh, Joanna, can you please give me the comparative sentences? And Xiaomi, you give me the superlative ones, please. Okay, um, Jim Carrey is funnier than Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. Jim Carrey is more creative than Adam Sandler. Okay, creative. Creative. Uh -huh. um, Jim Carrey is more crazier than Mr. Bean. Okay, ahí es esa está mala. O le pone more o le pone er, pero no las dos al mismo. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. okay. So Jim repeat Carrey, the sentence. Jim Carrey is more crazier. Mm -mm. Me estás haciendo lo mismo. Jim Carrey is crazier than Mr. Bean. Exactly. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Show me, please, the superlative ones. And Jim Carrey mm -hmm. is the most famous actor in Hollywood. Okay. Very good. The second is Jim Carrey was the most creative actor in the 90s. Ah, very good. Creative. Creative. 
Excellent. Jim Carrey is was the most creative actor in the 90s. Excellent. Mm, en la última sí tengo duda. Okay, go ahead. Right. Jim Carrey is the is one of the richest actor in Hollywood, pero no sé si perfect. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. is one of the richest. Okay, very good. That's it. Actors in Hollywood. That's it. So you see, guys, when you have comparatives, you use Okay, las reglas que usamos y ahora aprendimos que para superlativos, pues le agregamos the most o the, el adjetivo corto, y est. Ok, tomorrow we're going to practice comparatives and superlatives before I explain the next topic for tomorrow. Ok, do the exercise in the platform. Ok, and if you have questions, let me know. Ok, ahora alguien me escribió que tenía algunos problemas y los pudimos arreglar, ok, so do the sections please, ok we are about to finish the, the module, so you have to finish section 1, 2, 3, 4 and next week section 5, ok, thank you for joining the class tonight guys have a wonderful night have sweet dreams everybody ok, and I will see you tomorrow, ok, good night good night teacher